Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Tonight we're gonna to cut into these nine diesel truck oil filters and see what you're getting for your money. So before we get to the fun part of cutting these filters open, let me talk to you for just a second about these filters and why I chose them. How do you like that for some cinematography? All of these filters fit a Dodge pickup truck with a 5.9 liter Cummings engine. Now Dodge made this engine for about 20 years, so there's a lot of them out there. So there's no premium filters here. When you go into the auto parts store to get an oil change special, this is what you're gonna get. Obviously the Napa Gold filter is Napa's house brand. The MicroGuard filter here is O'Reilly Auto Parts house brand. The STP filter here is AutoZone's house brand. And the CarQuest down here on the end is obviously CarQuest's house brand filter. Now I also went and got a Dodge Mopar Cummings filter. This is the factory filter, the direct replacement like you would get if you got an oil change at the dealership. Now we'll be able to compare all of these to the factory filter. So enough talking, let's get to the fun part and cut these open. All right, to cut these open, I'm using my Metabo four and a half inch angle grinder and one of these Osborne 60 grit cutoff wheels. Should make quick work of these oil filters. All right, folks, well, let's lay them all out. We'll start over here with the CarQuest filter. So the base on this filter is very heavy. The gasket's nice and thick. As far as the filter can itself goes, seems to be pretty well made. There's a cheese ball-y spring in there. The can's a, a, an acceptable quality. Not super stout or super firm, but it's acceptable quality. The filter appears to be pretty rigid. There's a joiner bar here that keeps the pleats where they come back together. What I'm noticing is there is not consistency here in the pleats. The pleats are, are real close together here, and then you can see they're not spaced out. They're in both ends with some kind of uh, elastomeric hot snot type glue. Next up we have the Purolator. The base on this one is, is very heavy too. Interestingly enough, it's a very similar looking filter. It's good and solid. It also has a joiner bar. As a matter of fact, I believe that both of these, they are, these are identical. And the can is of a acceptable quality as well. So we can right now say the Purolator makes the CarQuest house brand. Next is the Shell Rotella filter. Again, acceptable quality, a good gasket in the bottom. Okay, so Interestingly enough here, I think we're gonna be repeating ourselves. Matches these. So what I can tell you so far is that the CarQuest filter, the Purolator filter, and the Shell Rotella filter, without a doubt, are all made by the same company. Same quality throughout, same springs, same bases. They're pretty much identical. Let's go to the Fram. Fram filter's a little bit different inside. This is definitely not as heavy as the bases on those three there. The rubber O-ring is crimped and everywhere there's a crimp point, it's kind of swollen the O-ring up so it's not consistently round. There is a joiner here that goes like that. The filter can fits on there as such. This frame does have a proper spring in it, a nice heavy spring at that. The filter in here appears to be pretty high quality for what you would expect from a Fram. The pleats are fairly consistent all the way around and they're much tighter than the pleats in here. One thing to point out on this Fram filter is there is no joiner to join these together. They're just glued. The can is uh, basically the same quality uh, a can that you had here. So getting over here to the Mopar OEM filter, Base is heavy. It's a little bit of an extra thick gasket on the OEM filter. Pretty heavy, pretty stout there. This filter is a very heavy duty. The pleats are very consistent all the way around. The can is heavy. There's also a joiner bar in this one that joins the pleats where they come back together. And this one has a proper spring too. The can on this one is also very, very heavy duty. Um, you can feel that it's, it's, it's significant. Next we'll do the STP. Base is 
of heavy duty construction. I can't get the, the O-ring out of it. Again, it's crimped in here. It's not crimped as badly as the Fram one was where it actually distorted the O-ring, but it does have it held in there pretty tight. It's a decent construction. Interestingly enough, we have another spring <clears throat> that resembles the other filters. And we have a filter that very closely resembles these others, although it is different. Um, doesn't appear to be as rigid as the other filters in here. There's no joiner bar to join the pleats together. The filter material does look uh, very consistent all the way around on it. It appears to have some pretty deep pleats. The filter material feels uh, not, like, uh, not like papery or flaky. Next, we'll do the Wix filter. Base is of acceptable quality. The O-ring is nice and thick here, just like the OEM filter. It's heavy duty, it's a thick filter. It's a very heavy base. There is a plastic joiner to act as a gasket between the base and the actual filter. The filter material is very consistent all the way around. There is a metal joiner to join the pleats together. No surprise for a Wix filter, very, very rigid. It's got some sort of hot snot also gluing uh, the filter to the end caps. This filter is no joke. This very robust filter. Um, also, very heavy proper spring. Uh, it's by far, so far, the heaviest of any of the springs in the filter. Next, we'll do the MicroGuard. This is O'Reilly Auto Parts house brand filter. The base gasket on this is also very thick, like the OEM gasket. The base is very heavy. High quality there. The filter, it's pretty rigid, but note that the filter material, just like on the Wix filter, very consistent all the way around on the pleats. You know, there's some pride and ownership there. You can see a little bit of variation, but overall, all the way around, the pleats are very consistent. Feels like a really good filter material. It, it doesn't feel like cardboardy. Uh, it also has a joiner bar. And if I was a guessing man, I would say that these two are probably the same. Again, just like in the Wix filter, the heaviest uh, spring so far. And the can on this, yeah. Yeah, I can say with some certainty that the Wix and the MicroGuard by O'Reilly, uh, these are the same filter. Pulling out the Napa Gold here. Same heavy duty gasket that we found in the last three. It matches the OEM, very heavy base plate. A little plastic joiner is identical to the last two. Filter, the same, very consistent pleats all the way around. Joiner bar to join it together. Very, very stout. Also hot snotted in. Oddly enough, it looks like the last two. Another heavy duty spring. So here's what we got so far. Without a doubt, the Wix and the Napa Gold are identical filters. They're the same filter under a different brand name. Surprisingly, the O'Reilly Auto Parts house brand is also the same as the Wix and the Napa Gold. The STP filter very closely mimics the Purolator, the Rotella, and the CarQuest filter, but it is a different filter. It, it is stamped a little bit different. The OEM filter stands by itself as well as the Fram filter. So I'm quite surprised by the quality of this Fram filter. It's actually significantly better than anything I found in my prior videos on Fram filters. If you haven't seen in my filters, I'll put a link up here. You can click that link and go see the other video I did on automotive filters. Now the Rotella, the Purolator, and the CarQuest filters, they're identical. Same manufacturer that made all three of them. So the next order of business here, let's cut all the filter material out of these and lay it out. Let's see who has the most filter material. So let's talk about these three filters down here at the end of the table. The Shell Rotella, the Purolator, and the CarQuest were all three identical filters rebranded under a different brand name. These also have the least amount of filter media of all the filters that we took apart. The other problem that these filters had is the pleating was very inconsistent throughout the filter. Overall though, they're a pretty well-made filter. The bases are robust, they had good gaskets in them, and the cans were made of very strong high-strength material. 
So let's move to the other end of the table and talk about the Wix, Napa Gold, and the MicroGuard filter. The MicroGuard filter, remember, is O'Reilly Auto Parts house brand, and all three of these filters are identical. There's no doubt about it. Same amount of filter media in them, same construction, same stamp marks in them. They're all three the same. These three filters had the most filter media in it, second only to the Mopar Cummings factory filter. This by far had the most filter media inside of it. The STP filter appears to be very closely related to the Purolator, Rotella, and CarQuest. However, it contained a lot more filter media. Pretty close, honestly, to these three down here. Pretty good bang for your buck. Let's talk about the Fram filter. Now the Fram filter had a lot of filter media in it. Really about the same amount as the Napa Gold and the Wix filter. And I was gonna give this filter a pretty high score until I saw something just had me put on the brakes. When you look inside this can, there's rust. The inside of this filter is rusted. I did a previous video on automotive filters. I'll put a link up here up above to take you to that video. And consistently among three Fram filters, I found rust inside the filter can. Folks, completely unacceptable. So because of those findings, I gotta take the Fram filter completely out of the race here. There's no reason that any rust particulate should ever be floating around in the oil inside your engine. But other than that, I gotta say that all of the other filters were acceptable oil change quality filters. I will say that the Napa Gold, the MicroGuard, the Wix, and the factory filter were a very high quality filter which I would use in my own vehicle. Thanks for watching. We'll see you real soon.